Hey there everyone, my name is Eduardo Arroyo, but you can call me Ed, and today we are enjoying South Beach here at Miami Beach, Florida. Yes, you guys, you heard that right. Today we are checking out South Beach or Sobe if you wanna be cool like that. My goal for this video is simple, to tell you a little bit more about South Beach and the surrounding area and to show you around so that you know what you'll find if you decide to visit. So if that interests you, come with me. Hey there everyone, we have just arrived here at Lomas Park. This is a green space area that is right next to and runs along South Beach here in Miami Beach, Florida. This is a great place to go for a walk, run or bike as you have the views of the city to your right as you can see right there. The park right now is relatively calm and also because you are not too far from the beach which is right over that green section over there. For our first stop of today, I have something very simple, but also really fun. So let's go over there. Check it out, you guys. So this is the place that you come in order to take a picture and let your friends and family know that you have made it here to Miami Beach. You know the saying, pictures or it didn't happen. So I'm gonna go ahead and take a few selfies of myself and be on my merry way. Just like that. Now let's go ahead and head over to the next activity and location. Another popular activity to do here at the park, as I mentioned earlier, is to go on a bike ride. There are plenty of bike rental locations around the area. One of the bike rental options that I've noticed because of its many locations around the park is city bike. The cool thing about city bikes is its convenience. So the way that this works is that you come by to one of these city bike stations as you see here, you pick one up and then you don't even have to bring it back here. After you're done, you can actually leave your bike at a city bike station that is located more up north or south of the park from where you started and what works better for you. So again, very convenient. Check out what I just found you guys. If you are passionate about fitness, this park has its very own outdoor gym. Isn't that cool? As I've been traveling, I haven't been doing much of working out. So this place just reminded me of how much I miss my regular schedule and my gym sessions. Definitely a cool place to check out. I really like this park, you guys. The palm trees look so nice. There's a lot of places where you can sit down. There's plenty of paths where you can walk or ride your bike. And overall, just a really nice place to chill, relax, and enjoy the sea breeze and the sun. And again, I just wanted to mention how I really like this area where the park meets the city. You can see a lot of really nice looking buildings, including Art Deco style buildings like this one, which look really nice. And if you like architecture and want to see more buildings like the one I just showed you, definitely check out this building right here. This is the Art Deco Welcome Center. From what I've read online, they give you a map so that you can spot these buildings throughout Miami Beach. And they also tell you more about their history and significance. Definitely check it out if you like architecture and such. And if you are one of those people who wants to experience the food or the party scene, as I mentioned earlier, simply crossing the street across from the park will get you to some good options. This street right here, which is Ocean Drive, and the next three after that are all littered with restaurants, bars, clubs, and shopping areas. So you really can't go wrong if that's what you're looking for.
All right, you guys, I think I am done showing you some of the things that you can do and see here at Lomas Park. Definitely check it out if you have the time. Now, let's head over to the beach. Check it out, you guys. To get to the beach, you need to find these entrances right here. It's uh, not an open area from the park to the beach, as I'd imagined. So you need to find entrances like this one to get to the other side. There it is. Welcome to Miami Beach. As you make your way to the beach, it just looks so big. Check it out. It looks like it goes forever on both sides. The sun reflected on the beach sand is so bright that you definitely need sunglasses. There are trash cans lined up at a distance so that people don't throw their trash everywhere. And from here, you can start to see the areas where people are gathered. Check it out. I wonder what these pots are used for. They look so weird just in the middle of the beach. There are also these areas further from the beach with shades, umbrellas, and chairs with these very specific colors. I'm guessing that this is a company that rents them so that in case you forgot your beach gear or you just couldn't bother, they offer it at a price. And then there are booths right there at the distance. I'm guessing that's where you pay. So there you go, guys. Even if you forgot your beach gear, you don't have to worry. They offer some options for you right here. And before we get any closer to the beach, there's something else that I wanted to show you. I thought this was very interesting. Whenever you look for pictures of Miami Beach online, there's always these lifeguard towers that pop up on the results. I think it's because of how they're painted. They're painted in very bright and loud colors. Like this one, it's a very bright pink. This other one is painted in a very bright purple and what looks to be the LGBT flag, otherwise known as the rainbow flag, in the back and this one painted in very striking light blue and yellow colors these lifeguard towers remind me a little bit of the painted ladies in san francisco again just the very bright and loud colors that they chose for them and they do look very cool in the background of pictures And of course, the last thing I want to show you today is the ocean and its waves. Check that out. If you travel to Florida, chances are that you want to go to the beach and get in the water. And going into the water is a great way to relax and to enjoy your vacation. Even if you can't swim, you can stay in the more shallow areas so you don't have to worry about that. Look at this, you guys. Doesn't that look so enticing? Honestly, if I didn't have my camera gear and my microphones, which are not water resistant, I'd be taking a dip just about now. Something funny about me, you guys, is that I actually have like a white noise uh, playlist on Spotify of waves crashing. So this is awesome for me. Music to my ears, literally. And if we turn around from this exact spot, you can see the skyline views of the city of Miami Beach which include a lot of high-rise hotels, as you can clearly see. All right, you guys, I'm gonna go ahead and enjoy some of my time here, but I'll be back because I actually want to enjoy the sunset from the beach. That is something that I told myself that if I ever visited Florida, that is something that I would do. So I wanna check it off the bucket list. So I'll see you guys soon. you guys we are still here we have around 20 to 25 more minutes to go my camera is still recording as you can see and one thing is for sure the wind is picking up you can definitely see that reflected on the waves they are crashing harder and also getting way further you can see the sun right there it is almost below the skyline of the city and we are going to continue recording until we can't see much. 
So I guess there's no better way to end the video than right here. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you guys did, I'm gonna ask you to please click on the like button and subscribe to my channel if you wanna see more cool and interesting travel videos just like this one. And just to remind you to always be kind, have an open mind. I'll see you next time.